they are big ones. And oh my goodness, here comes Mighty Mouse. Look at the eyes. And the men, too, were special. They were proud of their work and the way it was done. The trucks were called snow fighters, and rightly so. These are some of the conditions they had to contend with, and they did it well. That's just plain hard work. This is typical of the type of work they had to do. And there we got a breakthrough. Cold temperatures also contributed to the problems that were faced by the snow fighters. The banks froze, became almost solid. And as you can see, a great deal of power is required to get through. Engines in these trucks, while rated at only 150 horsepower, had cylinder sizes which go to 1.8 to two liters, which is the size of a full engine in an automobile today. Oh yes, you always had lots of spectators. Kansas, they said the corn was as high as an elephant's eye. I don't know what about the snow. I'm going to have a man show you how deep it is here. I never heard them write any songs about how deep the snow was in New York State, but I guess they couldn't find anything that would rhyme with shovel handle. The Walters Company and the Frink Company collaborated many times in building special equipment for special jobs, and this is one of them. Show us how high that plow is. That's a pretty powerful looking machine when you look at it from that angle. As this truck goes by, you will notice the size of the wheels and tires. Those are 12 by 24 inch, and that's as big as a tractor today. The driver's name in this film, his name is Charlie, and I think he just thoroughly enjoys getting out and doing the kind of thing you see here. It's sort of a show off in some ways. This type of condition was common. Of course, you see all the automobiles behind there. They've probably been looking for a way out. Sometimes, you know, the roads got blocked for a week at a time. 
could always hear the snowplow coming because those engines bark pretty loud, especially when going up a grade and on a clear, cool winter day. The exhaust stack goes right out the top of that hood, sort of a no-frills effort. <laughs> 